I used to look after you, I used to look after you, by the way. No. So what are some of the great stories? What are some, you know, what, what, are the, what are the best memories? I can't really tell you too much, but I mean, the, the, the biggest um, joker was Gaza. He was just an absolute legend. And um, I'm pretty sure I was in the jacuzzi with you that day for my, one of my great stories was I was in the jacuzzi. I'm sure you were in there. It was Wrighty, Inti, Gaza, Merce. And as a young we lad... Yeah, as a young lad, I can remember sort of being a bit busy and I was stretching. They all got out and went and I was stretching. I got back into the dressing room and um, I got back into the dressing room and it was stinking. So I grabbed my stuff off the peg and I went back to my room. I got back to my room and my room, it was like this smell in my room. And of course, what happened is Gazza had rolled my shorts down and left a little present in there <laughs> <laughs> and put them back on the back. <laughs> and how old were you then? I was 22. Oh, amazing. And uh, still he still owes me a pair of Adidas shorts. Are you watching this, guys? <laughs> I'm not sure you'll get them now, son. Oh, it was brilliant because I, I came down for breakfast and everyone was cracking up because he told everyone what had happened. And I'd gone the whole night, had my window open. I was like, what is that? It was just not right. but Because I didn't think like that. But Amazing. Yeah, I mean, Tony Adams. Who's, who? Tony Adams was my first captain, and then when I got in there, you know, he was brilliant. He dominated, he ruled the roost, and he didn't rule the roost. I mean, we ruled the roost. You, me, ruled Gaza, the... righty, Ferdy. How, how you know hard I mean? is it to pull a disparate teams together and make an England team? Like, is it is it easy to kind of form mm. together and become a team quite quickly, or is it? It was it was tough. Fair, we were lucky at those times because um, Wright was a good friend of mine. I mean, Les was a good friend. Gaza was good. So even though we're at different yeah. teams. Like sometimes you had a mate at a table, you had an yeah. Arsenal table and a Liverpool table. It was very clicky. Yeah. Well, was it clicky? You know? Did it? You didn't all mix together? Well, in, in my it time, it was no. okay for me because I kind of all my mates were from different teams, so that was our table. Yeah. But the, not, the rest of them were kind of stuck together. If that made sense, mm. you know, like Macca and Moby and Michael Owen and that that type stuff. So. It wasn't hard, to be fair, because we were, we were all good lads. And as John said, he was probably one of the quiet ones, you know. But we would like. We were all good lads and we all got on with everyone. We didn't dislike anybody. You know, it didn't affect us what happened on the weekends. We just, I, I look forward to meeting up with England because I look forward to yeah. seeing other mates and my mates again. Yeah. And um, so it wasn't, a, it was never a problem. And you can tell by the way we played. You know, you go back to your, your, your 96, even 94, where we, <coughs> excuse me, where we didn't qualify for the World Cup in America. Cause we should have done because Cuban should have got sent off. You know, when yes. they pushed Platy in, in the playoffs, um, in the qualification, sorry. Um, in 96, we had a great team spirit. You know, 98 in the World Cup. You know, we all got on, so that's why we produced the football that we did. And we had great characters, you know, Tony Adams, you know, Stuart Pearce, David yeah. Seaman. You know, these are all like, these are giants of people. You know, yeah. they're men. And we were all men, but we all just have a laugh. And we had the younger generation, as in such like Arco and Gerrards and Owens come beneath us, you know, they stuck together. But never a problem to, to have that team spirit and camaraderie, that's for sure. It was quite strange in a way, but obviously Man United, Liverpool, big rivalry. If you'd have played like, obviously we had the Raheem and the Gomez situation this weekend. But genuinely, when you go for England, I would say you put everything aside and you go and play for a greater cause. And there's like a, a real, not sort of a family, you don't have the same um, bonding, but you do have your, your friends, but you genuinely have the, the mutual cause that you want to fight for. So... I do think it brings you together, and, and, and that's the manager's mm -hmm. biggest job, is to <coughs> say, look, here, we'll all stick together, leave everything at the door, and then we pick it back up.